hello my lovelies and welcome back so i thought we'd do a little bit more work on our day book memo pad that i'm going to keep on my desk i keep bits and bobs in um so we decorated the pages didn't we and put pockets and things in now um what i've done here and i'm just going to make another one i'm also using um, if you recall, we used the birthday flowers, um, digitals, last design team project, and I've got loads left. This is the thing. There's so many things in Tracy's kits that you can, you know, you can keep them and keep going with only printing them off once. Um, so I'm using these as well. I wanted them to be backed in, in vintage style so that I like to show that we can do the old and new together so we don't always have to be using new newly printed things we can mix the two and this is a very beloved children's books that book that dropped to bits from when i was a little girl and uh, and it, it, it brought me so much joy then so yeah i'm going to have elements of it in this so uh, what i what we're going to do here is I've done one at the front and then one at the back, slightly different. This one I've done with a little treasury tag and the dominoes out of um, what the compendiums. You know, I collect Tracy's compendium kits because you get so many elements to craft with there. These are the dominoes. Um, there is a new compendium kit out, which I'm hoping hoping to uh, feature soon um so let's just move that up there a little bit so i've already backed this one with some uh craft uh, card um and i've done some stamping on that which is a, a way back video when we did stamping on um on paper different random stamps i think mainly we made labels um so i've got my dominoes here i keep all these in my little tracy tin and it's just a matter of going through ones now i don't mind that one for the back i quite like let's have a look that's a nice one um yeah in a little tracy tin so that whenever i want to um <laughs> use little bits and bobs i've got them to hand so let's just uh, glue this together i do like this stock for me this is the best scotch glue by 3m it is the best of the glue sticks everybody has their own favorites i think i think sometimes um batches i bet some batches are better than others with these glue sticks so you know just have a bit of a a play with them let's just neaten that off a little bit i'm just going to just ink round the edge from a bit we le had left over let me move my chair up a bit that's it so you can see me better so we've got that element there oops that's it that's bodgy let's cut that bit off get rid of that white and i've just got my cropper dial so if you're new to crafting, uh, go and check out. There's a series at the moment and Tracy is one of the participants. And it's it's a bit of a chat video showing you how they started out, but also looking at what they feel are tools that you can manage with, um, that you don't need to go out and spend loads and loads of money to, to start the junk journaling off. Um, and if you are new, it's worth you going and looking at that. Now, the reason why I say that is if they were to ask me, this is my one of my most favourite useful things. It's by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's the cropper dial and you can do different size eyelets and you can set them. And I use this so much. Um, so it is actually something that um, price... I'm going to say price per wear, but we don't wear it. Do we? <laughs> price per whatever, per video. Right, okay. So I want a, it's so nice having my craft trolley with stuff here. 
I can just use things without having to hunt for them. Um, a silver one. Let me get that one there. And then I want a little charm. There's all sorts in here. Let's see if I can capture something small. We've had a key. I don't want dog bone on it, do I? Oh, now then I'll have my BB Bijou. That's come off a really old bracelet of mine from BB Bijou. Um, that, that brings me joy as well, so I'll have that. I've decided that I'm no longer keeping things for best. And uh, I'll put that in there. I'm going to wear my clothes that I fancy wearing and I'm going to use all my craft stuff that I like. Stop keep hoarding things. There we go. So I'm just going to hook that over there. So we've got our little domino there as a, as a little dangle. Oops. Take a bit of fiddling with. But there we have, we've got our little dangle, little charm on there. This is, I'm just going to, this bottom's thick card, so I'm just going to I don't know um, just going to neaten them edges off. There we go. Right, so that's that one done. Now I've put that in pockets there, but I've already um, put one in that pocket. So let's see where else we can add it in our in our little stash right I think we'll have it there <clears throat> and I'm going to just fold this over and get my bone folder wherever it is it's here get my bone folder think that could stay up there and I want this stronger glue I'm going to just use this as a, a flip up but because it's such strong card I'm, I'm going to use my art glitter glue just because I think the other won't hold it quite as much because it's very thick card on the back and then I'm just going to stick it on there now I'm just going to put a big clip. <laughs> we don't need one that bad. I'm just going to put that on to let it set. Okay. Now, on this page, what because I don't want to over-decorate it, as it were, because it's going to be mainly for jotting ideas down and memos and things, I'm just adding little things Um in the style of what Tracy did in her original uh, thought processes. So here we've got a, a little safety pin, not safety pin, paper clip holding an envelope. So I thought that would be nice to use the envelope that's actually in the day kit. Um, and, and then paper clip it in. So um, it's just a matter of folding these on the lines so i wanted it to be something that you know I'd, if i couldn't find all my supplies after moving i'd be able to um do something design wise and uh 
I think this little kit's perfect. And I was supposed to get my thing on this, but I can never remember how to do them. You know me, never remember how to do them, is that it? Now I've got a great big, <laughs> great big cut in the way that I don't want. I think the moral of this tale, Catherine, is do these bits first. Little snip at the ends. And again, um, this is a, a, a useful round. This is Vars and Creative. I'm fast finding that these are one of my favourites for punches and things. They're very sturdy, I find. I have bought some cheaper ones and they don't last. So um, I do find that they're a decent brand. Right, I made a right pig's ear of that in usual pig's ear style. so guys we've got our coronation this coming weekend coronation of our new king king charles the third so i hope you can get it in other countries um there's loads of things happening all over the place where we've moved to there's a lovely park just across the road in fact i can see into this park from uh the craft room and uh, I can just look through my window now and can see up into the park. And there's going to be all sorts happening over the weekend in celebration of the coronation. And it's, a, you know, certainly for David and I, it's a once in a lifetime thing. For many people, it's a once in a lifetime event. Um, so it's nice to, uh, to be able to celebrate it. So the Jubilee was fabulous. I can't believe that... The Jubilee was, you know, last year. Um, and then, you know, our beloved Queen passed away. And then um, we're now going to be crowning our new king, which is very exciting. Um, I'm just looking for a nice piece to, to back inside this envelope. So I think we will use this. It's... Uh, some lovely end paper from an old reader's digest so hopefully you can get the coronation i would think that it will be um all over the world coverage i would have thought and obviously the commonwealth i mean the commonwealth's not so big as it used to be i can't even remember what's in the commonwealth anymore um so let's oh how am i going to do this it's not gonna work quite as i had hoped but let's see we'll have to do the ends in something else let me cut round it first so let me cut round this and then hopefully we have Got enough of this left to put on the ends, so that's there. It's a bit of a bodge eyed way of doing it, but uh, if it works, it works. Let's see. Yes. Ways and means, we've just got a little bit to cut there, which hopefully, let's, let's cut that bit off and put that bit there. Yeah. It's 
just put a bit more under there. Okay. Right. Stamp them out again. Just cut them off. There we have it. We've got that lined. Just for the sake of it, looking more finished off, I think, really. So we will get the bone folder on it there and there. We'll use that one there because it's got the it's got the added bit on there, so we don't need to need that. There, and I'm just going to run a bead of glue. So if you want to know how to fold traces and flows, <laughs> don't watch me because I'm, I always end up I always end up thinking, how do I do that bit? <laughs> okay, so you only want glue down that bit and that bit because obviously and I don't like them flat bits, I prefer it to be rounded or square, that's it, there we go, there we have that and then it's a matter of folding that and uh, burnishing it down, there we go. I don't think that's how it's supposed to go because we've got white bits showing. So what I can do is there we are. That's soon done that. See what I mean? <sighs> Oh, sorry. I really should be having my hand all strapped up. I haven't found my strapping yet. Oh, that's not done me any favours. Oh, right. Okay, then. I didn't swear, guys, did I? I was very good. So we have our envelope and we can put something in there. What can we put in? What's something that I would be able to write on? Let's get. Let's get that. That's a bit of my matte paper left. We'll put that in for now. I can put a little memo, a little note on that, can't I? And I've got this piece, which is again from the, the floral, birthday florals. There we go. And then that's down there. Okay. Now got a little label here so it's always handy to have your little bits and bobs I'm going to put that down there <laughs> I think I'm going to have to about call it a video because I've uh, I can't feel my hand anymore now there we go so I take my big clip off so that is that one there. That's a flip up with our little bitties and bobbies on there. And then on this side, we've done the envelope. And what I'm going to do is now I've got a little one, a little itty bitty, but this envelope's a bit thick for that. So I'm just going to get a, a normal, normal paper clip out of here. Yeah got one and I am 
going to we'll have it that way no we won't because the thing will be upside down I wanted to cover that up, didn't I? Right, I'm going to do it on there. Pin it like that on there where that one is. And I want something to... Um, too big. Something to cover up that original name plate that Tracy had put on there let's have a look at that oh yes I like that because it keeps the little the little screws uh, visible so we'll have that there There we have that. I feel like I might want to put something on there. I'm trying to think what I might have. Or, uh, you know, my, my uh, ribbon, ribbon paper clips are in here. I might want to swap that. And then I think that will be a video. So I think we'll put another one in there and then when that's shut we can have that bit of ribbon poking through, can't we? Yeah. And I'll take that one out and we'll have one of there. That's, that's nice. I can leave that one in there or slot it through. Right, okay then guys. So just a couple of different ideas for our folio. Um, we made some tags, back them in vintage book paper. Made a little dangle with a ball pin and a little charm and Tracy's dominoes out of... Uh, compendium that i will do something on that we'll think about that for next time and there what i've done here is a little she, she obviously clipped some bits and bobs of scrappy paper for writing on there on her original design so i've got a little tim holtz paper clip and clipped those on and then we've done our envelope and uh, put a little thing at the top there. So thank you so much for joining me and I um, hope that's given you a few ideas. I like the idea of having this on the rings now because I think it's just uh, a little bit different. And um, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Put a comment down, even if it's a little emoji, it's classed as a, as a reaction from people for the algorithm for YouTube so that it enables my channel to grow and uh, reaches out to more people that might join our happy clan. So thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye for now.